Hi guys, today we're going to show you how to make this more campfire cone. In your kit you'll get a baggie with a waffle cone, some marshmallows, and some chocolate chips. To make your cone, you're going to take your marshmallows and chocolate chips, which I have here. I have mine all mixed together that I'm putting in, but you can put them in um, with the chocolate chips at the bottom, marshmallows at the top, or opposite way, whatever you feel like you want to do. Then hopefully you have some tin foil at home and you're gonna wrap your cone all the way up so that nothing can spill out from the top or from the bottom all the way around the cone and just wrap that up and make it make sure it's tight. Then, then you're gonna stick it in the oven at 350 degrees for about five to 10 minutes, um, depending on what you think is good. And then you're gonna let it sit for a little bit just cause it'll be really hot and then you'll be able to enjoy your cone. If you'd like, you could also put it on the grill or over a campfire. Have fun, you guys. Hi, everyone. I'm here with Member of Parliament, Glenn Motts, and today we're going to show you our nature name activity. So what we're going to do is we're going to write our names um, with our Sharpie on our piece of poster board, and then we're going to put glue over our name and your job is to find any sticks, leaves, plants around your yard that you can put on the glue for your name and your name will be written out with your leaves. So we're going to start. Awesome. And Glenn Watts is going to give us a little bit of a synopsis about what he does as a member of parliament while we do this activity. Well, thank you, Meredith. Um, I will use this first <laughs> to put my name down. And as I, unfortunately, we have to wear masks today because we want to be safe. So um, as the member of parliament, I have the pleasure of um, representing the people of this riding. And the riding that I represent is um, Medicine Hat, Cardston Warner. So it's a big riding. It goes from the Saskatchewan border down to Montana border, uh, all the way to Waterton Park, and just below Lethbridge and Tabor. And then all the way back up to the um, Jenner and Bind Lost and over that way. So it's about 30,000 square kilometers. You know, do you have another piece of paper? Because I didn't write my name right. Uh, sure. I, I can just turn it over. I, sure, turn it over. I'll turn yeah, it over. Sure. So you kids at home, if you make a mistake, just flip your paper over. It's all good. <laughs> How is that? Is that big yeah, enough? Yeah, that's you think? good. Yeah. Oh, I messed that up again. That's okay. <laughs> There. Okay, and then you can put glue over your letters and then start putting your sticks and leaves and stuff on. Glue over my letters? Yeah. So now, I, I, can I keep talking about what yes, I do? Yes, you can, yes. So as a member of parliament, I represent this riding and the people who live here in Ottawa. Uh, and I have, I have a couple of functions. Um, I have a constituency office here in Medicine Hat. And that office deals with issues that people in the riding might have uh, about all sorts of things immigration um canada canada oh i shouldn't put too much glue on all at once should i i think you're okay with your first name probably first. okay good um you know canada pension stuff you know issues issues to do with with um departments of government that's what that's what uh, we deal with here and uh we, um, and then when in Ottawa, so I go to Ottawa about, I'm in Ottawa when, when Parliament is normally sitting when we're not dealing with a pandemic. I, I go to Ottawa about 27 weeks of the year as I am down there. And I live there during the week and then I come home every weekend. So it's a lot of driving, as you can imagine, or flying um, back and forth. But in Ottawa, I sit on committees and deal with uh, government legislation and all with a focus to try and get as much um, you know care and um, things provided to the people of this riding Canadians for the things that they need to to um, you know manage their lives and take care of um, you know the things that are important to them like uh, you know health issues and um, you know, farming programs, 
taxes, you know, all the stuff that the liberals want to do, you know, <laughs> spend money, spend their money. Just kidding. <laughs> it's okay. <gasps> so, oh, yours is really good. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Mine isn't so good. That's okay. So, um, I'm going to ask you a question. Sure. So what do you know about government that you think that, or what you don't know about government that you think that the, uh, the kids that you're involved in in this virtual summer program would like to know? Um, I, well, I, lots of the kids are younger than me in the program, so I think your synopsis was great, but maybe, um, maybe just like recently how you've been, how you've been dealing with the pandemic oh, as a member of parliament, as we know, you guys have been uh, meeting via Zoom probably. Yeah. And just try, like how that's different for you being an MP during a global pandemic. Well, it has been extremely difficult. Um, I'm not a fan of virtual parliament. I, uh, I'm not. It's a way that we circumvent democracy by having virtual parliament. We can't hold government to account. And trust me, this, um, this prime minister that we have needs accountability. Um, so it has been very, very challenging. I don't think we serve our Canadian, the population of Canada as well when we're not sitting and not, uh, being, being uh, accountable to to the people of this country, so it, it has been it has been a challenge to try and get you know legislation through Parliament that that um, will benefit pro with programs that will benefit the people that need the programming. Uh, it is also a challenge to to um, you know, with, with Parliament suspended, the, you know the NDP and the Liberal Bloc. Uh, form an alliance to, to, I guess, shut down Parliament is the best way to put it, which is what they've done. So we can't really debate some of the things that we would normally debate there. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, it has been uh, difficult to, because I've only been to Ottawa like five or six times since middle of March. And uh, that makes a bit of a, a bit of a, oh, you're going to take, oh, I thought you were going to take some of my oh, no. stuff. <laughs> So it's been it's been um, it's been a bit of a challenge that way, but like it has for everybody else, right? Uh, this has been a this has been a a unique experience for most everybody. On mm -hmm. we don't live through pandemics all the time, right? I want to stick some yours because I think okay. I need this to make it spendable. Yeah, I can need it to make a, make my G. So how many kids do you have participate in your program? Uh, there's about 25 in oh, Rhode awesome. Island and I think about 15 or 20 in Formo. So okay. yeah, we make kits for them every week and then... Make kits? Yeah, so they have all like the... Like this sort of stuff? Yeah, well we won't give them the sticks or anything and then they um, they can do the stuff that well, they Well that would have been kind of cool. Did you see the fly? Work? The fly almost got stuck in the glue. <laughs> that would have been kind of cool. I could have yeah. done a period behind my name with a fly. <laughs> that would have been a lot of fun. Oh, this is going to be tough. We almost need a stapler for my name. See that? Did you notice your name is all straight lines except for your D? Well, and my R. So how are you going to how are you going to do that? I don't know. I'm, I'll approach it when it comes. See, I've left my 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 G and my O to the very end. Oh, yes. Well, I'm going to have to bend that. Hmm. I don't know if that's going to stay. Oh, bend the stick? I'll break. Oh, break. I'll break the sticks. Oh, break them. Little, little yeah. pieces. Yeah. <gasps> well, we should have our backup crew here. <laughs> helping us out is what we should have, obviously. Okay. Yeah, that isn't going to work very well. So this little, little chunks. As you can probably tell, I don't do this crafty stuff very often. I'm sure your kids at home are going to have a way better one than I'm doing, I'll tell you that. I think yours is pretty great. Well, doing the... that's very kind of you. <laughs> but I think your mask is blocking your vision. What? <laughs> no.
this one right here. Are you ready to lift yours? Yep. Okay. All right. And folks. here is our nature name activity, everyone. So we hope you had as much fun as we did making them. And we want to thank uh, Glenn Motz for being in our video again. And I lost my old. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. And good luck making your own nature names.